thank you so much guys and uh, uh, you know watch through my entire videos in this channel by the time you complete these videos i bet you become a professional at using google ads i'm not teaching something that is already available i'm teaching on a live account so you watch this entire playlist i have seen the entire youtube you you have a lot of little little content but i'm sharing this in depth so you don't have to go to any institute to learn these things you go to institute to learn things in real time that's my only objective you want to learn to work on big accounts that's how you make a career and for that you can contact me and my website is prashanthreenuguntala.com and you can get connected to me but meanwhile you don't go to any institute to learn this basic stuff you're wasting your money and time if you go to institutes to learn this stuff right so today uh, based on the request i ha i have from my students what i'm going to do is i'm going to share access to them for these accounts so they practically get to work on this account and get to understand how uh, to uh, to navigate through the interface and what data you will find at which place so and uh, to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue with my session and in this session we'll be discussing about account level settings yeah. so see uh, when you create an adwords account you generally can't do it however you want there is proper structure first one is you have an account then you have campaigns in the campaigns you have ad groups in the ad group you have ads and keywords right this is a structure if you go back into facebook again there they also have a structure they have a campaign they have ad set not ad group then they have ads right but in adwords we're talking about google ads so first you have an account you create an account in one account you can create several campaigns in one campaign you can create several ad groups in one ad group you can write several ads and keywords but google recommends you to write at least a minimum of 3 ads in each ad group now people talk about single keyword ad group where they say hey why should you even write three keywords or uh, three ads and 10 keywords in each ad group why don't you create one ad group for one ad one keyword that is even good if you want to try that to improve the performance to see higher quality scores you can still do that but it will consume a lot of time and for that you have the option of using adwords editor if you're comfortable using adwords editor maybe you can go with skag right now so i will be talking about the account level settings so first thing to do anything in the adwords account you need an account and how do you create an account by going to something called google ads so to what you have to do is log into your gmail account and go to google.com and type in google ads so there's a link called ads.google.com you can directly go type in ads.google.com or you can go to google type in what system does this system will take you through a journey right the first thing that system asks you when you're creating an account is these things remember you have to give time zone and currency right and these things once you give it you would not be able to change it and that's why be careful when you're giving these settings give them carefully that you don't have the option to change them but google change these settings they relax this policy they say hey i will allow you to change the time zone of the account once in the lifetime of the account that means if you want to change the time zone if you're into ist and you want change them to some est or pst you can request google to do that and google will do that only once in the lifetime of the account but currency can never be changed that means if you have a currency as inr and then you feel like oh, no i want to pay in the australian dollars it is not allowed the only way to do that is to cancel the account and create a new account that is what google says right so the first thing that happens that they have to do is when you're creating an adwords account is give time zone and currency very properly right these are account level settings and once you create an account again i want to go through uh, right so these are the account level setting so according to me there are five account level settings is what i i always say right so i i, I would, would write them give me one moment the five account level settings first one is time zone and currency second one is account access second one is account access third one is billing third one is billing fourth one is preferences fifth one is notification settings sixth is linked accounts first one is time zone and currency second one is account access third one is billing and payments fourth one is preferences Fifth one is notification settings. Sixth one is linked accounts. And account level setting is also there. There's one other important setting. Uh, we we earlier it used to be in account level settings, but now they moved it from this place. There's something called auto tagging. I will tell you what is auto tagging in my future videos. 
right so auto tagging is one setting that you would find in the account level so let's go and discuss about time zone i told you time zone currency you give it when you're creating the account for the first time when you're creating it you can't change them but time zone can be changed but currency can never be changed if you want to change the currency you have to cancel the account and create a new account right next one is account access right i'm creating this video because uh, i want to give access so what i do is i click on tools and here you have something called account access when you come to account access here this is a place where you give access to other people see i it is my account i am the admin whenever you create an adwords account you become the admin why you become an admin you can create campaign delete a campaign create an ad delete an ad you can do whatever you want but prashant i am the admin i have no time to manage my campaign so i want someone else to manage my campaign so what you can do is you can give them access so when you give them access you see you you come to this place users and you click on plus symbol and these are the four different type of access admin level admin access if you give anybody admin access remember he is having same powers like you that means as you can invite him he can invite other people and admin is the only person who can remove another admin so if i give admin access to you what you can do is you can even remove me that is why I never give admin access to anybody right see they can access make changes and they can even manage account access standard what they can do is a little lower than admin access they can make all the changes but they can never remove an admin so if you want somebody to manage the campaign but not so much they can remove you give them standard access read only what they can do is they can read all those things but they cannot make changes email only they'll only get email notifications right so it depends on what access you want to give them generally what i would recommend is never give admin access to anybody only give admin access to those people who should have the complete rights but give them standard or read only so if you, uh, what what i generally do is i give standard access to my students they can practically go and make changes as well so right so i will give access to few of them so i give standard access i enter the email address Naresh, ready dot, annam, at gmail dot com. So when I give access to this email address, what happens is an invitation from my AdWords account will go to his email. So he has to log into his email, and in that place there will be an option saying, "Hey, somebody wants to give you access. You want to accept it? All you have to do is click on that and accept the invitation. Clear, right? But even after I give the invitation, I'm still the admin. I can revoke it any time. Even after you accept, I can remove it. I can remove it now also. I can give you standard access, and then I can make you admin as well. Because who am I? Admin, right? So I can give access to one other person as well. So I can give them standard access. Yeah. So give me one other email address. N i l a. You receive an invitation to your email. Just go check your email boxes, right? I will give to other people in a while. Right. So then, then go back to where. Then you have something called linked accounts. What is this? Linked accounts is nothing but you can link your AdWords account to various other accounts. Remember, you cannot become an expert unless you link your AdWords account to Analytics account. So you have to link your AdWords account. You can do it from here. You can you 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 want to promote your app, right? And your app is in Play Store, so you have to link your AdWords account to Play Store. And you can in, 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 input your entire data into Salesforce as well, so you can manage all the CRM and all. Right, you can link hotel ads. If you're particularly into hotel ads business, your entire data can be added here, and you can create hotel ads. For this, you need permission from Google Accounts team, right? And your account has to be whitelisted. Just like Merchant Center is for retail businesses, hotel center, hotel ad center is for people who are into hotel business. Prashant, I want to promote my YouTube videos, so you have to link your AdWords account to YouTube account. So this is the place where you go and link your AdWords account to various other accounts. So based on your requirements, right? So this is the thing. Now, Princess is a place where you go. And if you want to cancel an account, Prashant, I don't want to run this at this account. I want to cancel my account. So I go here. I click on account active here, and I can click on something called cancel. If I want, I can cancel the account as well. Right now, one more thing, Prashant. When I created the AdWords account, I also gave the time zone. You give that when you are creating the AdWords account time zone, but suddenly after a few days you 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 know somebody gives you access you don't know, so you want to know which time zone the account is created in. It's very important. If your time zone is America and you're running ads in Australia, you can't run just like that. You have to use the proper ad scheduling because your ad should always be served according to the time zone of the user. No, according to the time zone of the account, it will never run according to the time zone of the user. Ads will always be scheduled to run based on the time zone of the account. Right, so that is why you counter calculate your time. So you want to know the time zone, you come here, right? And then you have something called 
billing. Earlier, billing used to be here, but Google created a separate uh, tab called billing. Here, it's, it's a place where you go and add billing information. Remember the three types of billing methods. First one is manual payment, where you make a payment, your ads will run when you have money, your ads will stop when you don't have money. Second is automatic. Automatic, you can run even though you don't have money, but the surety that you have to give is credit card. But when you add your credit card, what Google does is they charge your card for $1, $2. It's a pre-authorization fee. Once your card is successful or charged successfully, your ads will run. Right? Now, but remember in automatic payments, they call automatic payments as well. Automatic is post-pay, manual is pre-pay. Manual, you have to have money before your ads will run. Automatic, you can have your payment done after your ads will run. But the, 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 the credentials is your credit card should be there. Anytime your card is declined, your ads will stop. And third is also there, that's called monthly invoicing. This is only for people whose account is 12 months old. And in last 12 months, any three months of your choice, any three months of your choice, if you spend $5,000. So my account is 12 months old. Okay. In last 12 months, any three months, this account, this day, this day, this day, any three months. If you have $5,000 spent in each month, that means February $5,000, three and a half lakh. Then November I spent $5,000, which is three and a half lakh or maybe in other July I've spent $3,000. So if you have this requirement, only then you can ask Google for monthly invoicing. When you when you ask Google for monthly invoicing, they check this criteria and there are a lot of uh, you know email exchanges. You have to sign on a letterhead by the financial head of the company and then they'll move your account to monthly invoicing. In monthly invoicing, advantages, you don't have to pay before, you don't have to put your credit card. Google will put money, Google will run your ads, ads will never be stopped. After one month, Google will give you invoice and Google will give you 30 days of grace period also to clear the invoice. But that's only for people who have a big, big ad spent, right? So these are the account level settings, right? Business data, we will discuss about this. Uh, I have already created one video. I will, I will upload that to the channel. There's something called ad customizers where you upload your entire data to Google ads account. And from this ad custom uh, and this, and then from this data sheet, the data feed sheet, you take the data and input in the ads. Uh, that's called ad customizers. You can go through my channel and, and find uh, that video called ad customizers, right? You can find that being used, right? And there's also one other setting here. I want to just show you called auto tagging. I want to show you auto tagging so you'll have better idea about this as well. Right. Auto tagging is again account level setting. So what you do is account level setting, you go to all campaigns and then you come to settings here. Now when you come to settings here, you see account settings. When you come to settings, you come to you see account settings. In these account settings, you have the option of auto tagging. Auto tagging, it automatically tags a GCL ID parameter so that Google knows that this click is actually coming from Google Ads. Right? That is what they use in case they want to track how many of your clicks were turned into conversions. Right? There's also something called manual tagging and manual tagging essentially we use UTM tags but this is auto tagging where Google appends a small GCL ID parameter. I will create certain other videos on this particular thing but remember there's also this option so these are the five account level settings six account level settings that you have to remember every time you create a campaign these are the accounts uh, setting that will remain same right so right you don't make changes to these account level settings every time every day so you can continue to watch my videos and uh, uh, and get to learn the one skills and advanced level to become a better advertiser thank you so much and uh, again if you're interested to interested to learn these in-depth skills in real time contact me I would appreciate and I would take you through the journey of becoming a master. Thank you and I will see you soon with another video. Thank you so much.